What's up guys, Ryan here, making you a video about how to find a niche in 2018 for your Shopify store. Alright, be honest, there is no difference between this year and last year, or 20 years ago, or 100 years ago, or since the beginning of times, how to find a niche. All right? The trick finding a niche is know what you're selling, know who to advertise to, who to target for your advertisement. All right. So when you're picking your niche, I want you to follow these steps that will help you pinpoint what you should be targeting and what you should be selling. And I hope you understand that it doesn't matter if you think that Joe Schmo is selling $10,000 worth of product in such and such a niche. All I have to do is copy what he does. You don't know how to find products chances are for that particular niche or you don't know what his advertisements are you don't know who he's targeting or how he's targeting at all right they're not going to tell you because that's their livelihood that's how they make money so how they're doing it is they are doing something that they love they know how to target all right so going to my list of seven things be interested in what you're doing be interested in what you're Niche is so. What I suggest is write down a list, twenty-five things. All right, doesn't matter if they're oversaturated or you think that they're not enough people to target. All right, just write them down. All right, you can worry about that when we get to the next steps when it's to narrowing down like a funnel. All right, the next step is find products. Take your list of niches and go. Chances are you're doing AliExpress because you're probably going to drop ship on Shopify anyway. All right, go to AliExpress, look up products, see what particular niche has more products that you feel like you can advertise. You're going to eliminate five or ten depending on what you wrote down, right? So the list is getting smaller. All right, now that you found a niche that has multiple products for that particular for those particular niches, I want to move to the next thing, which is, are others interested? All right, you want to pick a niche that millions of people are interested in, not just a million, not just a couple million. All right, chances are you're targeting people in the U.S. or your country, wherever you may be. In the U.S., there's over 300 million people. All right, now it doesn't mean you have to have a niche that is that big, but find a niche that has you know at least 20 million. 30 million, all right? If you have that kind of a niche, then you have people to target, you have to advertise to, and you have more potential customers. Number four, make sure it's not readily available what you're advertising, all right? You can have generic items in your store that are related to your niche, but if you're advertising a generic item that they can go and buy from Target or Walmart or another huge branded store that they go to regularly, Chances are they're going to say, I'm just going to go buy it from them when I have the money, when I have time. Whereas if you show them something then on Facebook and it's, you know, product that they, so for example, it's like you advertise a yoga ball, all right? You know, purple yoga ball. Chances are they're going to say, Walmart has that same yoga ball and it's probably the same price or cheaper. So I'm just going to go buy it from them today when I go over to the store. Whereas if you advertise a multicolored yoga ball. Now, I don't know if there's such a thing that exists, so don't go and try and find it and say, oh, that's his niche and that's what I'm going to sell. But what I'm saying is, is find something that is unique, unique that will catch that person's eye and they're like, oh my gosh, I love yoga and that is perfect because I have never seen a yoga ball that is multicolored, all right? Um, so that way people will be more um, Im impulsive, impulsive, but more, they'll have a higher impulse into buying that particular product from you. All right, number five, be sure that you know how to make ads for that particular niche. All right, you should be able to know magazines, you should be able to know fan pages, you should be able to target, um, interest groups for that particular niche right don't pick things that can't be advertised either such as weapons drugs and whatnot right and then 
we go into number six, which is, is the money going to that niche? Is pe Are people buying products from that niche? Now, there's ways that you can do this, but you want to go off of data. You don't want to go off of your, your own insight and your own opinion because chances are other people don't share that opinion that you share. So, for example, if you're going to AliExpress and you want yoga, all right, you want to go here and you want to find the products that are selling. So go buy orders, all right? For example, this pair of yoga pants, all right? 2,236 people have purchased this particular product, all right? This is a product that has been proven to sell. People are buying it. People want it, all right? This one, 1,917. Now, what you don't want to advertise is products that nobody is buying, all right? So, for example, if there's only... 30 purchases, you don't want to advertise that. There's not enough data there to support that particular advertisement. You'll probably break even with your ads or you won't make any money at all and you'll just lose money. All right? So pick something that money is going into. Advertise, make sure that what your niche has has products that are being purchased. And then the last thing, this is more of a tiebreaker. It's not as important. Now it can be, but trending items you can look for on Google. All right, just go to Google Trends. These are things that people have searched for recently. All right, it calculates, all right, today this many people searched it and yesterday this many people purchased it and, to, and you know, it'll, it'll calculate how many people are actually purchasing. So if I go yoga again, all right? Now this is good for like tiebreakers. Say so you have two niches that you can't decide. Find the one that is trending right now. Find something that gives you a little boost. All right, so for example, people search yoga, all right? But it doesn't look like it's trending like in an upward way, but it doesn't really look like it's really going down. It's more of a steady flow. That's okay. Now, if your other niche that you're searching goes in a downward trend, go with the one that is actually being stable or look for one that goes upward, showing that people, more and more people are looking into it and are interested. Anyways, those are my seven steps on how to find a niche. Uh, if you like the content, please subscribe, leave a comment in the bottom, like the video. Um, when you leave a comment, tell me things that you're interested in, things that you want to know, things that will help you Give me ideas on what I can teach you, things that I have experienced in my time as an entrepreneur. Um, anyways, hope you liked the video, and I'll see you in the next one.